Hello everyone, praise be to God and welcome to the final episode of the first path of Putt-Putt Enters the Race. So, all we really have to do is get two more coins, which we can get just by doing another job for Mr. Baldini, and then we can buy the stuff from uh, Chuck the Tow Truck, and then we will be on our way to the race. So, first up, hey there Torval. I need to be on the lookout for the veggies for Mr. Baldini. So this time, we're going to need cauliflower, a carrot, and an apple. And unfortunately, the cauliflower, he only has three plants. Thank goodness, cauliflower is awful. But they're in, I think, an even more out-of-the-way spot than the tomatoes were. So yeah, that's going to be fun. Also, I can't remember where carrot, the carrots are. Only thing I remember where they are are the apples, which are right up here. I need one of those for Mr. Baldini. I think I'll pick it. Apples are amazing. They're my favorite fruit. Especially Granny Smith apples, but Honeycrisp are also delicious. Alright. Perhaps we have to go down here? We haven't been down here yet. Cabbage! I don't think Mr. Baldini wanted any of that. That's fine. So we pick up the carrot, and it's got that nice uh, white shine on the right side of it. Well, once you look in the crate, that actually changes to a darker color. Check it out! Cauliflower! I've got to get one for Mr. Baldini. Do I we better though? pick it! Great! Do we? I found everything for Mr. Baldini! He'll be so excited! I can't understand how anybody would like cauliflower. It's like, hey, remember how terrible broccoli is? Try this! It's even worse! Like, I can't think of any way to serve cauliflower that it would be edible and healthy at the same time. And if there is, other vegetables will be better for it. Alright. That is an incredibly convoluted path to go on in order to get to that cauliflower. Holy cow. Help! I can't find my way out of this dumb maze! Oh, Pot Pot, you are going to be trapped in there forever. That's what you get for stealing so much of my produce that I worked so hard for. Seriously, do you know how hard it is to go out there and do physical labor all day? Just for people to come along and pick what you grew with your own two hands? It's bad. Then again, I also just hate physical labor. I'm terrible at it. Because I have, like, no stamina. Because I hate, like, don't work out. I'm gonna try to fix that this year, though. Even if it's just something simple like doing a little bit of the treadmill or doing a few push-ups here and there, it's better than doing nothing, am I right? And now he's got the summer squash that Torval waxed here you quite go, about. Mr. Baldini. Woot, now we have four coins. Let's just fill up his produce area, though. Now he has these melons. Get the ants out of there. I'm not buying watermelons with ants in them. <laughs> okay, remember kids, the summer squash is cheering you on. And now we've got broccoli. Alright then. Oh, the bat is actually eating the fruit now. We succeeded. We have helped everybody in town. Actually, okay, before before I go to Chuck's, I'm going to try that pinball game one more time. Alright, so I really gotta watch out for the flat tire area. Serious right now? 
Well, apparently it didn't want my tire because I had a bunch of spares already. Talk about it. It is so hard to get it into the gas, which is what actually makes you go faster. Come on, come on. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, come on. Dang, that is so hard to beat. Holy cow. Are you ready to go? I don't think I've ever beaten that before. Wanted to try it one last time, though. Anyhow. <laughs> he, he, I'm pretty sure Pete's just a cardboard cutout with, like, a speaker in front of him, because he has not moved. Like, at all. And hey, Chuck is here. Dude, are you littering? Hey, it's a bottle! Do you mind if I recycle this, Chuck? Of course not, little buddy. Take it. It's yours. Thanks. This is pretty much the epitome of lazy. It is like a free five foot drive to get over to the recycling plant, and he refuses to do that. What the heck, Chuck? Hi, Chuck. Hey, little buddy. Have yourself a look around. I'm here if you have any questions. Thanks. Cool. 68, 68, 68 funny cars. Oh, that's right. Chuck, I was wondering if I could buy a set of those super speedy radial racing tires. Redline Rick says these are the kind I need to enter the Car Town 500. Best tire on the market. And am I ever going to make you a deal since you helped me out today? Gee, thanks, Chuck. How much nice. are they? Normally, they're two coins apiece. But for you, I'll give you all four tires for only four coins. That's a savings of four whole coins. I've got four coins. Well, how about that? Hand them over, little buddy, and you got yourself a brand new set of tires. That uh, you'll use once. Because you're not supposed to wear this on the road. Oh, wow. Superbug. He's... I was about to say, he's going to defeat the bug population, but no, he's not. He just splatted. I don't think I can use that there. Sure you can. Here you go, Chuck. Four Shut up and coins. take my money. Thank you kindly, Putt-Putt. Now I'm going to have to measure you with these calipers to make sure those tires will fit you. <laughs> don't worry, it ain't going to hurt. Well, well, a perfect fit. Putt Putt, you just bought yourself some primo, top of the line, super speedy radial racing tires. Thank goodness they were exactly your size. Would you like me to put them size. on you now, or would you like to wait until race time? I don't want to race around Car Town too fast, so I'll just put them on at the track. Okay, those. There's no way those are Putt Putt size. Compare those tire size to his actual tire hey, size. Hey, this is great! I did everything I needed to do to enter the Car Town 500. Hot ziggity! I'm ready to race! Are you now? <laughs> Hi, Redline Rick! I got all the things I need for the race. Impossible! That's great, but oh, I Just in time! You go on over to the garage then and boys get y'all fixed up with your race car like. I'll meet you out on the racetrack. What did you say? I couldn't understand you. Oh yeah, you guys are rooting for me. You made a song about me and everything. Man, they're good at what they do. <laughs> oh yeah! Awesome. Hooray! Oh, you look like you're as ready to race as something that's really ready to race. I sure am. Well then, go ahead on up to the starting line. We're just about to start. Oh, yes. Contestant, start your engines. On your mark. Get set. Go! I love that face of his. So now we get one last mini game before the game finishes. We get this racing game. It's, but thankfully it's really simple. All we have to do is move left and right, and he does the rest automatically. You'll increase speed the longer you can go without hitting anything. There are these oil slicks on the ground that will slow us down a bit if we hit them. Then there are also ducks which slow us down by a good bit, and you don't want to hit any ducks. I mean, they're so cute. 
<laughs> Steve also got the amazing uh, leaderboards down there. Puppet looks so freaking happy that he's able to enter the race. And then, of course, there are the other cars as well. Yeah, if we hit a duck. Oh, no, 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 never. No, no, no. Okay, that's bad. Man, they. This. This. This track is in terrible shape. Did they even clean it for the race? Like, what the heck? There's oil everywhere. Nobody sprayed duck repellent. Like, this is terrible. This is awful. What? Seriously. Who is in charge of this race? <laughs> Also, I love the 2D cut. Oh, whoops. Oh no! Yellow red line, yellow line Rick is in front of us. Oh, this is bad. There are five laps. F Mr. Fender Bender's friend is behind us. Also, if you hit the cars behind uh, that are in front of you, you give them a bit of a boost and you slow down, which is not ideal uh, by any means. Oh boy. So there are a couple different endings. So if you win the race, there's like a great ending. And if you lose the race, it's still a great ending. Because you tried your best. And by the looks of fans, I'm going to be getting the not-so-great ending. But that's okay. You can actually retry the race as many times as you like. And you aren't penalized for that at all. Honestly, this, this the racing game's not too bad. <laughs> that's rude. Mr. Fenderbender knockoff is going to win the race. This is not okay. Oh, I tried to knock him into the ducks. It didn't work out. Move it! Oh, you jerk! Yeah. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> How did he not slow down from that that much? Oh, no, not the green car. Oh, we're all about to lap the purple car. The pink car. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Controls on this are amazing, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, the blue car. <laughs> are those in the pink car's eyes? What the heck? <laughs> that was the, the worst finish ever. Oh, I am. Everyone's taking photos of us. <laughs> Wowie, Zowie, that was great. Well, you didn't come in first, but you sure were cruising. Good job out there, Putt Putt. Thanks, Redline Rick. So what do you say? You want to go again? So yeah, you can actually do the race as many times as you want. So if you really, really want to get first place, you can just keep doing it until you get first place. But I mean, it's Putt Putt. Let's be gracious losers. That's all we wanted to do today, Redline Rick. It's okay. I think I've raced enough for today. Well then, let's go to the winner's circle. <laughs> Coming in, second place, here he is, folks, Hot Pot! Wake up, buddy! <laughs> We're just ignoring the first place! <laughs> wow, thanks a lot! I'd like to thank everyone in Car Town for helping me get all the things I needed. And Mr. Crankcase, if you ever need help cleaning up again, just let me know. I'll see you all next time. And don't forget, it's not if you win or lose. <laughs> it's how you race around the track. Everyone just totally ignored the first person. It's like you came in first. We don't care about you. We care about Bubba coming in second, y'all. <laughs> wow, that's just incredible. Holy cow. <laughs> that was just magnificent. Holy cow, that was fantastic. What? I, I didn't know that actually happened. I thought they were just like, Oh yeah, like, if we're first place, who's blue car? Thanks, like, great job, man. And then, it, oh hey, it's the two guys that I, I, I came up against. Also, this is like, that was like Cars 1. Uh, like, like, why is the male lady carrying a bunch of fish? I mean, and the cat looked really excited about that. Oh, Pup Pup, you've been falling behind on your homework because of the race. Yeah, you probably should do something about that. Oh, these pesky birds keep stealing my corn. Yeah. Better blow them away. Like, literally. Um, somebody has... She's the one who's been wintering everything. Look at all those cups! Outback Al is shaven? Okay, I kind of like the stubble on you, Outback Al. Somebody left gum on the racetrack? Wow! Ben, the moral of this story is people in Cartown are terrible about cleaning up. I mean, I'm no 
like, clean freak myself, but I don't let things get that bad. If I'm having people over, you better believe I'm gonna be cleaning up. But, the, the, like, the, the race, the, the racetrack was just covered in oil and ducks, and there were bottles littered everywhere throughout town. Like, there's, there's no excuse. Come on. That's the real message of Puppet Enters the Race. Be environmentally conscious, and you will get rich for it. <laughs> yes. Anyhow, that's it for the first half of Puppet Enters the Race. Shorter episode for the finale, but I kind of figured that was going to happen. Tune in next time, everybody. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's one of the baby animal. Hang on, let's go back to that one. That's one of the baby animals licking its lips. That's like its mouth. I thought like its mouth was like. Ah! I thought it was like freaking out. Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> Pup Putt, you came in second. I think it's a little premature to be kissing your trophy. Anyhow, look forward to Path 2. There are two different distinctive paths in this. And, like, some of there can be overlap between the two. Like, parts of the second path you can play with, like, the uh, gas can in the junkyard still. But, the, but I've basically chosen the two paths that split it up the best. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Look forward to that. Marty will be with me for the second playthrough. And I'll, I'm also going to explore the bonus stuff in the game in a future episode. And hopefully that'll be entertaining to watch. So, thanks again. And I think I just need to end the video now. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.